What is up, people of the planet? Osiris here with Osiris Gaming, and we're doing it some more with Path of Exile 3.0. We just finished all those bandits, and now we're going to go find the spike. So we're going to go here on the west side of Act 2. We're really close to finishing Act 2 here because we've explored most of the map that's visible to us. Um, there's only a little bit of areas that are not, and we're just going to go ahead and find that. Uh, that one led to something else so let's see if there's another break in the pathway I don't see any break in the pathway which doesn't make any sense so I'm assuming even though it is south of us on the physical map the actual path to it is going to be north if you see all these webs on these trees that means that we're doing the right thing because spiders be dragging their asses on these trees all day just leaving behind their little trail like it's not littering I mean we take something that was ours and throw it on the side of the road we get fined for it spiders do it and they are commended for trying to catch other bugs it's like pff, what kind of logic is that guys these these spiders should be paying fines to increase our roads like we have to if you agree, go ahead and comment below. Should spiders have to pay taxes for leaving their webs all around town? <laughs> I think so. It's like a no-brainer, right? Alright, we're going to go through here and kill all my enemies because we all know I'm afraid of spiders and sharks. It's a big hint to who I am. For all the people who already know who I am, you're probably laughing your ass off being like, yeah, have you ever seen that fool in open water? No, because he's afraid of it like the game oh man any of you ever played games on steam that are just like fully focused on sharks and stuff like why would you play that is someone interested in sharks like i know some people aren't afraid of them but do people actually like sharks like do you like what's their point in the world you know they're like mosquitoes to me like all you do is go around and eat fish but it's like you know i'm pretty sure we're killing enough fish on our own as a human species with all the pollution in the water and fishing habits that are just getting out of control i don't know if any of you have been listening to any trigger news lately but i'm about to trigger y'all we're gonna have no fish no fish because we don't know how to stop fishing and on top of that hiroshima blew up uh you know that reactor a little while ago now all of a sudden orcas aren't breeding what up with that there ain't no orcas that are one year old because they all die of brain issues. Uh, that seems a little messed up, and it seems to be tying to the radiation in the water. Triggered! You're all livid now about what's going on in our water system. I know you on that other tab researching what I'm talking about right now. If you found it, get triggered. And then smash the like button. You're like, yeah, man. You triggered me. I like it. Now what I don't like is that there's this whole area over here I need to get to, and there ain't no door to get there easily. I gotta go all the way around, guys. But yeah, careful about the fish you're eating lately, okay? Because uh, they're getting they're getting a lot of bad stuff in there, living in that ocean that's all polluted. I mean, it's gonna be a barren ocean soon, anyways. I'm not a pessimist. I promise. I'm a realist. I live in reality. The only way to escape reality is to play video games and watch my channel, guys. So watch it and play games with me, and we'll just forget about what's going on outside. Because it's all bad. And you're like, why is it bad? We've got a wonderful president in the office. And I'm here to say, if you said that, you're an idiot. You don't even deserve to watch my channel. You can go ahead and take your like away if you think that that's a true statement. And go watch someone who who cares about that. Now, back to the game. I've kind of been going on some tangents in this episode lately. Sorry about that, guys. I get, I get heated on my own news, you know what I'm saying? I'm triggered. Triggered on my own trigger. Wow, that was... I don't even know what was going on right there. So much has happened, but either way, he dropped what I wanted. The spiders are bending over backwards to die for me. It's nice. It's like they're running up and like, Come on, Osiris, go ahead and put a frost bolt in my head. Because that's the, that's the accent that spiders have. I don't know if you know. If you ever had a sp talking spider, they sound like that. 
maybe that. I mean, if spiders could talk, I bet you I wouldn't fear them or kill them quite nearly as often because they'd probably be like, "Hey, I'm just hanging over here, catching your mosquitoes and stuff. Don't don't worry about me. I won't crawl in your bed and bite you while you sleep, or infect you with anything." And I'll try to even stay out of your field of vision. I'd be like, "Damn right, you better stay out of my field of vision. I'll build you a home to never ever come out of." Well, this area is super easy. It's only level 18. Uh, I don't know how I got so high of level with skipping so many mobs. It's probably the Harbringers area, so that I keep popping up. They grant you quite a bit of experience. Mainly just because it's always hard mobs. Alright, we're done with this area. We've got what we need. Come on. We're going to go back to town. I see a couple of swords in my inventory. They are are one-handed which is intriguing me all right let's take a look see here wow look at that added elemental damage it's it's lightning which isn't the best but that is that is quite considerable when you're looking at this little guy so let's find out let's see we got 211 <clears throat> 229 obviously that's quite an increase guys we're gonna go ahead and roll with that <clears throat> we're gonna sell the rest Sorry I'm having to clear my throat so much. This coffee I just had a little bit ago is making talking slightly harder. Anybody else ever get caught in mouth from coffee? Tell me in the comments below. Alright, we're going to go ahead and dump everything in this awesome tab so you guys can just see how awesome and easy it is. I just don't even have to look or pay attention. I just drop it in. It goes where it needs to go. And you call it good after that. Um... That's all you need to do. Look at that. It's all put away. I'm going to go ahead and drop all this stuff there. Uh, I can't use that yet, so we're going to set it aside because it's special. I need both of these things still, as well as this stupid spike. And now we are all organized and ready to go. So, where are we right now? Wrong one. All right, we need to talk to people. That's right. Turn some of these items into useful items. Projectile damage, not good. Faster attack support, potentially good. Elemental damage with attack support might be what we're doing. We're going to pop over here on the old path of building, guys. Um, we're going to click on Frostblade, see what we're going for here. As you see, we're going added cold damage, elemental damage with attacks. That's what I was looking for right there. We've got multi-strike, elemental focus, and cold pen slash melee physical damage. I know I told you in the first episode we're going to rock cold penetration when we find it until... We get all the cold pen in our tree. We're going to switch to medley physical damage because that's going to do a little bit more for us in the end. So we're going to grab that elemental damage with attack. That is what it said, right? Elemental damage with attack support. Yes, it is. We're going to grab it. We can't use it yet, mainly because we don't have a socket set up or linking set up that is necessary here. So we'll wait around for that. It's not too important. We're doing really good here. We're above skill level for our areas. We're going to go ahead and pop this in there and do even more damage here. 12% more damage to be exact, which puts us at the 240 zone, guys. That's pretty impressive. I'm digging it. All right, we did the thing we needed. Now we can go back to the wetlands. We're going to go find the tree, which is right here, and burn the crap out of it. It's all burned. Now we're going to go inside. It's like, oh my gosh, there's a cave behind all the trees. I didn't know. All right. Now we're finally at a level 20 zone here. We're still rocking level 22, so we are ahead of it. Jeweler's Orb, that's awesome. Um, man, look at that energy shield. I'm loving the new energy shield. It's a little icy, which I'm okay with. Um, it looks a lot better than it used to, I think. I do disagree with how they show it minimizing, though. You know how it comes down like this and then comes back up? Wouldn't you agree with me that it should phase from left to right so it should like phase out this way uh i think that would look a lot cooler grinding gear you should i'm a designer that's another fun fact i'm a designer uh in my off time graphic to be specific uh, i'm not doing clothes or interior or any of that crap just graphics so you know i focus on things like ux and ui and all this stuff and i think it would be a lot ben more beneficial to do it the way i just said Maybe it would be harder to read, you know, how much energy shield you had left, and that's probably why they did it, but, I mean, 
functionality versus uh, physical aesthetics basically that's like my main my main problem I deal with on a daily basis all right we just hit a dead end but I do see where we needed to go over there in the corner unless that's also a dead end it's very very possible this game is this game like loves to lead you down the wrong way we just found a bastard sword the sword that Jon Snow uses just kidding if you haven't watched Game of Thrones go watch it if you're like uh oh, but I don't want to put such a commitment to a show it's gonna take me months to get through it all whatever at least you have something to watch for months I'm sitting here waiting every week for an update you know how horrible that is it sucks it's like, it's like having anxiety. Just kidding. Anxiety's way worse. Running, running through the dungeon with you. Don't even know what to do with my time with you. Just gonna keep on going. That's another Paul amulet that we don't really want those at all. Now, obviously, I still haven't gotten a mod for my items. I think I will eventually. There's our little goal right there. Um, it definitely can help a lot. Uh, I wonder if I can make chromo pieces glow a different color, like certain socket setups and stuff like that. That'd be really cool. All right. Oh, it's a Vol instance. Oh, I'm down. Let's do it. And Vol instance number two, guys. I can't believe we didn't come across any of these in the beginning. We've already come across two Vol instances today. Uh, although I know the last one was in the last episode, I think. So, kind of today. We got a Chromo piece right there. Now, I believe this is also one of the new ones. This is not ringing much bells. Oh, a real chromatic orb. I think that's the first real chromatic orb we've actually found on, on this character. Which is crazy. That means that 12 of my, or more than 12, of my chromatic orbs are just from finding the pieces on the floor. It's definitely the best way to find them. Alright, let's push through these instances we're rocking level 21 instance here so these guys are giving us great experience they're still below us a little bit but we're catching up to the proper content for my level and honestly it's a little better to be ahead of the game because then you can just keep on rolling through this like it's nothing look at that oh wow this guy does real damage I like your mechanics here you're squishy but you do awesome totems that are relentlessly shooting at me. And they seem to just build up. They don't ever die. That was awesome. I like that. Alright, he has no chromo pieces on him. We got cold snappage. And I just picked up something pointless. Alright. Ooh, this claw actually could be better. I believe that is quite better. Uh, which one is worse here? I think that one is probably better, even though it's uh, lightning damage. Let's go ahead and check out the old Deep's Mater here. We got 238. Oh, I can't use it. Ah, that intellect, man. I need to pop some intellect in this character. Oh, well. I like the swords better anyways. They look cool. The attack um, model, I guess you could say, or sprite animation that they use for the claws is a little subpar in my opinion uh... It just like it kinda just looks like you're slapping them with claws instead of like stabbing them like a real assassin would do they should take some notes from assassin creed then come back and redo the claws especially the one with just like the pithing needle claw like no one would slap someone with a pithing needle they would stab it in the back of their neck That'd be cool. Eventually they like show the guy slide around behind and just like do a one shot kill to the back of the head. That'd be awesome. Wouldn't be this game though. Alright.
Yeah, I'm trying to find my way through this ball ruins here, but I'm not getting lucky with uh, finding my objective here. Oh, I'm really loving the range on this ability. It's just far enough where you, you don't even have to be within attacking range for them. Obviously, these guys are ranged, so that doesn't count, but... Uh, you're not within melee attacking range, which is really nice. You can avoid those heavy hits from, you know, big hammer-wielding guys if you need to. I know it's going to help us when we're doing the apex here, which I don't think we're going to find any troubles with whatsoever. I wonder when the game, you know, quote-unquote switches, in a sense, difficulty up to uh, Cruel. I'm betting it's as soon as the new content starts because that's when my friend said he started running into a lot of issues, at least with his character. I'm hoping my character is a little bit better than his, at least a little more thought out. Um, he is a much, much better planner on this game though because he retains the information just too well, which is probably why he got into the field that he's in. Wow, I can't believe I'm totally missing everything that's needed here. What is it, in the center? Ah, uh, no, it's on that far left side, I can tell already. But it might be far south also. Alright, we'll try both of them. This little area looks special. Nope, it's not. It's not special at all. Alright, keep on running. We're just going to keep this little map up to keep me in the right area here. And now we're good. There we go. This is one of those little places that they they make. Just keep running through here. Strong box, we're gonna have to grab that. It's a lot of experience with all these mobs. Man, I hate these guys shooting out. I think it's only physical damage, but it might have a little bit of chaos in there as well. It definitely looks like it's chaos because of the color choice that they you're using. What the heck? Where's the last guy? There we go. Sometimes they they throw them down and there's so many that one of them just like runs away and then gets like a good 30 yards and you're like, uh, there should definitely be a, like a chain that links them, like a really small red chain or something that tethers them to the chest so they can't run too far. That would be really helpful. It's like, how do you make a game helpful enough without making it for five-year-old little boys? That's like the, the sweet spot. Once you master that, you can just endlessly make good games that five-year-olds can still play and probably just, you know, get killed. I mean, you think Diablo 2 was made for nine-year-olds, which is, I think, when I started. I think I might have been, yeah, nine years old is when I started playing uh, Diablo 2. Did I know what I was doing? No. Was I having fun? Yes. It was amazing. It's like the best game ever. made so many mistakes so many mistakes and luckily this game has gone around all the mistakes that I had to make back then which was like moving things to mules without any friends because I didn't have anybody that was playing the game at the time and uh, you know I would you'd sit in a room until you would lock the room quote unquote and that would you'd be like in there for 10 minutes and then you could leave the room and come back and the room would still be there even with nobody in it in case you needed to switch a character to go kill a boss or something like that. And so, you know, I'd go in with the mule, I'd sit there for 10 minutes, I'd test it, and then I'd go back, I'd drop, like, an entire inventory full of rare and set items, pop out, pop on in on the mule, and try to pick them up. Which, you know, worked 9 times out of 10, but, man, on that 10th time, when all the little servers that you make every time you start a an instance disappeared and you had to, you know, they just wash every once in a while and I lost all that stuff. I was so livid. Because, like, in Diablo, I mean, I was, like, 20 cow runs to get all that stuff. <laughs> Don't know if you guys remember the cow run. The moo, 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 moo. This game should do some nostalgic cowness. I think there actually is uh, a piece that has a reference to the Cow King. 
That game was awesome. I conned so many people, though, into uh, opening up a cow portal for me and then being like, well, you better leave because I'm going to go kill the cow king and you're never going to be able to open another portal if I kill that king. Did this thing drop a rogue exile guarded by a rogue exile? It did, and five levels up on the chest. That is awesome. Unfortunately, I don't see anything useful. I can't even pick up the tunic. And why is that? It's because we're filled up here, guys. We're so filled. All right, let's see if we can open up a ton of space by going like that, 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 that. And now we should be able to pick up the tunic. See how that works? That's actually a lot of evasion on that tunic. Um, holy crap, it's like a lot of evasion. And it's double linked already. Uh, life regen, I'm digging that. Uh, reflecting damage, I'm okay with that as well. Yeah, let's let's do it, guys. I think uh, it's obviously a upgrade. Didn't take away too much. I don't think it took away anything actually. Perfect. Let's continue. Oh, a fiver. Wow. It's not linked though. It's not worth it. You know how many jewelers uh, or fusing orbs you would use to try to get that all connected? Way too many. Now, we still haven't found, you know, our goal here. There it is. I was going to say, we should be getting really close. I think I have the entire thing done. This is one of the the longest areas that you have to get through. Find a way to lift the darkness. What if I'm okay with the darkness? I mean, it kind of adds some cool-looking effects to all the worlds that you have to visit after. Wow, that was really fast quest complete. I didn't lift no darkness, but that wasn't the quest I just completed, was it? What does Rogue Touch do? I don't have to look that one up as well. Do some organization. I don't think there's enough organization to be done, to be honest, to make this work. So we're just going to have to go back to town and who knows, this is probably a good time to end this episode. I mean, we got through quite a bit of content here in a short amount of time. Everybody's all afraid of the darkness here. And I think we're good to go. We're just going to end it and start another one. So just stick around for the next one, guys. The only reason we're cutting these is to help with the upload time so you guys can get more content quicker. All right, so thanks for watching. This is Osiris with Osiris Gaming. Smash that like button below and subscribe for more. Check you next time.